how to tie a full Windsor knot. I like to start with the small end on my left side. <clears throat> now ties come in different lengths so depending on the length of the tie this could change. I usually like to have it right at about my sternum. So you're going to cross the big end over the small end. I like to hold on to that there. You're going to bring the big end up through the middle like so. I hold on to that again with the other hand. Now you're going to wrap the big end around the back and put it up through the hole. So you have a nice little triangle here. Now you're going to wrap it across the front like so. Leave a little slack here because you're going to bring the big end up through the middle and you're going to tuck it right through that. And you're going to pull tight while holding on to the back. Now a little trick to get this a nice triangle. Pull the sides there. Now you're going to hold the back, slide the knot up to whatever's comfortable, bring your collar down, get it nice and snug up there. If you want to add a nice little touch, tie bar, keep that back end from flopping around. Most ties also have a little thing you can tuck that into, but tie bars are a little more classy, so it just depends what you're going for, but there you have it, a full Windsor knot. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, hit the like, share, and subscribe buttons. Feel free to comment below and tell us what you'd like to see next. Check back soon for more new videos.